Good morning, everyone. It's uh, January 2nd, and uh, it's a beautiful day in Maine. Unfortunately, my snowplow uh, has uh, malfunctioned, and uh, it's a, uh, a Fisher Minute Mount 2, and it was acting as if it was out of fluid. And uh, I just changed the fluid uh, a month ago in preparation for the uh, winter, and uh, unfortunately, uh, uh, it didn't, uh, it failed. And uh, it was working fine before, and all of a sudden, it just uh, ceased to function. Well, it turns out that uh, there's a, uh, uh, a canister that fits right under there. Here's the canister. You see it's still gunky. I'm just uh, taking this video after taking it all apart. The magnet in the bottom there, no metal filings or anything. Uh, there was no gasket, which was kind of odd. Uh, I had searched all over on the internet and YouTube trying to find somebody who had had this same problem. And uh, lo and behold, there was none. Well, I went on the blog and uh, found, uh, they talked about the uh, um, uptake, and there it is, and I found that in the bottom of the tank, uh, the, uh, the, uh, uh, the reservoir, and it's just held on by an O-ring and sticks in uh, pretty tight. It's, uh, I've got a 2006 GMC, and uh, I'm surprised it held as long as it did with all the bumping and banging that I do. Anyway, uh, the way you take it off, uh, there are... Uh, simply uh, four uh, small screws, you can see them there in the tray, and uh, they are right at the top of the canister, as you can see the holes there, they're fairly easy to get at, and uh, they uh, didn't leave enough room though, when you take the canister off, it won't clear, so you have to take two bolts out, there's one right there, one in the front, one in the rear, and um, you just slide the whole thing over to the side, and the canister pops right off, and uh, so anyway, I'm just going to uh, jam that back up in there. It, it's a pretty good tight friction fit. I understand they fixed it now with a, with a clip, which I don't have, and I'm way down in the woods, so I'm just gonna have to put it back together. The filter, you may find on some of these, uh, gets clogged up. This one looks pretty good. I'm gonna take it off further and, and, and clean it, just uh, on the, you know, <laughs> I wanna do it right. And I don't wanna be doing this again in, when, the, when if it really gets cold here. So anyway, that's all there is to it. Uh, if you're having the same problem, I hope this helps you, and uh, uh, it's not really a bad job after you figure it out. So good luck to you.